All right, so today we are testing the RX 4070 Ti in Starfield. Now I'll put up all the specs on the screen right now, but we're pairing this GPU with a 12700K CPU paired with uh, 32 gigabytes of DDR4, 4000 megahertz CL18 memory. Now let's just go over the settings here quickly. Apparently I'm at 1080p, we're on the ultra preset. Now just one thing that you need to note is that uh, if you use the presets, dynamic resolution gets enabled by default as well as FSR and you can't select the FSR mode down here, you have to adjust the render resolution scale up here. Pretty strange, but uh, that's just how it goes. So I'm just going to disable dynamic resolution and FSR, I'm just going to disable any upscaling. I mean, it's a 4070Ti, should be able to do 1080p ultra, right? And inside, this is just after the first mission, we are getting just above 60 frames per second. That's awesome. <laughs> I mean, I know there's been a lot of tweets going around, some people saying that people expect too much by running the game at ultra, but this at 1080p getting just over 60 frames per second, this is ridiculous. I mean, looking in this direction, I'm sure there's nothing there and we're getting around 90 frames per second and this is terrible so i've uh, actually played a bit i've got a few locations that i want to show you i just want to show you the, the how the performance actually differs between areas so i'm not going to be spending too much time in each area but this is just so you can actually get an idea of what the performance is like now across the multiple enjoy. planets multiple maps and uh, i mean it's still not going to be completely extensive but it, it'll just give you an idea right so we'll just wait for this lady to open the door we'll get outside of the planet there right and outside still getting between 70 and 80 frames per second 1080p ultra now you can see that this is definitely not cpu bound we are sitting at a locked 98 percent gpu usage so definitely not cpu bound even at this uh, lower resolution the graphical performance or the GPU performance is just underwhelming in the, this game so far. I mean, sure, we had a lot of videos earlier showing how CPU intensive this game is, but a 1080p with a 4070 Ti, we're definitely not CPU bound. Right, so let's just see how far we actually need to go down to become CPU bound at uh, 1080p. Just going to play with the quality settings here. So now on the medium preset, let's just uh, show you here, uh, get rid of this the render resolution scale is now sitting at 50 percent so mm, okay so that's a very aggressive fsr2 setting on the medium preset but we're not uh, worried about that at all and uh, medium preset native 1080p let's see what happens here and we're getting almost 100 frames per second this is the highest i've seen this game go so far i'm not going to go down lower with the settings i'm not going to be playing this game with the 4070 ti at 1080p i mean it's definitely capable of doing a lot more but it seems like if you want to get a high refresh rate experience uh, 1080p medium is the way to go we can go back to ultra and change some fsr settings but i'm just using 1080p to show you i mean uh, we'll test at uh, 1440p properly right so now we're back on the ultra preset and still dynamic resolution i'm going to disable that but with FSR enabled 75%, so I'm guessing that's between quality and balanced. I'm not entirely sure, whatever. And this is not great. So even with FSR, we are still not uh, that heavily CPU bound. We are seeing the GPU usage going down uh, to 96%, still pretty much GPU bound and still not a great frame rate so i just wanted to use this planet as a baseline you can see that it's it's pretty barren there's not a lot happening here sure there's a, a few buildings here on this uh, base but other than that not a lot happening all right so we are now on the second planet and i'm going to try and not uh, spoil this game i mean <laughs> you can play for 10 minutes you get to this same exact location but I'm not going to try and include any spoilers. I'm just going to run down to that building there and we are running out of oxygen there. So just going to run down to that building. I saw inside of the building there, the performance was pretty good. Even at 1440p ultra, I was getting 120 frames per second. How often you'll be playing inside will obviously depend on 
exactly what's happening further on in the game which i can't comment on as yet but even here with the frame rate sitting at around 100 still not cpu bound all right so let's just reset our numbers there and inside we're getting 140 frames per second now we are now slightly cpu bound you can see the gpu usage going down to around 80 percent there that's to be expected this is uh, at 1080p and apparently it's the sandwich's fault but you can see we're getting up to 165 frames per second there so all in all at 1080p inside of the specific building you can get a high refresh rate experience but this was just pretty much to show you the performance differences in different areas so if you do see uh, you're getting 80 frames per second in this one area you might get 120 frames per second in a different area even higher as we've seen so the performance does fluctuate quite a lot between different planets and areas so let's start with the real benchmark now all right so we're back on the first planet here again 1440p ultra running at native and getting around 60 frames per second i actually saw it oh, there we go down below below 60 frames per second even there's a, a small gunfight happening here. I saw it drop down to around 55 frames per second as well. So 1440p native, if you are targeting a 60 frames per second experience, then Ultra is not going to give it to you. This is definitely a lot more demanding on the GPU than I was expecting. I was expecting a lower performance, but I was expecting at least 80 frames per second. And I said expecting quite a lot in that sentence expect a lot more of that so definitely not ideal i mean all but there's the games were targeting 60 frames per second they were actually locked at 60 frames per second uh, a while back skyrim is locked at 60 fallout 4 is locked at 60 fallout 76 is also locked at 60 i believe there's a mod out there that can actually up it to 120 frames per second without any issues and the uh, reason for that is that most of the physics are tied to the frame rate in those previous games but in this game it definitely isn't so i'm not sure why we are targeting 60 frames per second here sure it's playable i mean it's definitely better than consoles 30 frames per second but i was expecting a lot more all right let's just jump to that other planet quickly right so we're now on that second planet and you can see the performance is definitely quite a lot better on this planet than it was on the previous one and i'm just going to go down inside that building again i just want to show you what it is like outside and then we'll see what the frame rate is inside right so inside we are getting 120 frames per second at times and this is <laughs> i might be making you nauseous but this is just pretty good the motion fluidity in some areas getting above 100 frames per second it's just so smooth it definitely feels a lot better 120 frames per second there and even here getting up to 130 frames per second but definitely not cpu bound sitting at 98 percent gpu usage there so the performance uh, as i said earlier it does fluctuate quite a lot between uh, zones i'm just going to equip a weapon here because we might be fighting i just want to show you uh, a fighting scene uh, by the way i do know that you can assign favorites i just haven't done that i've actually done it in my later save game but not in this one so during fighting it does drop down a bit going into the mid 80s there and i'm not shooting particularly well yeah but the the game does look okay so there was a, a pretty big stutter there so those are very few and far between but they do happen and you can see our 0.1 percent lows took a, a pretty big hit there all right so i'm going to for the rest of the benchmark run i'm going to go to the main planet atlantis or something like that something that looks similar to earth i think you'll spend a lot of time there later on in the game i'm not entirely sure i've only played for a few hours but i think that's also a very good planet to benchmark so we'll be going there right now and uh, here we are so this is the main city the headquarters of uh, whichever faction we're part of now constellation or something and it does look pretty good it'll look a lot better up close and you can see uh, getting getting just above 60 frames per second at times getting almost 90 frames per second at times performance fluctuates quite a lot depending on where you're looking what you're doing once again not uh, cpu bound at all with this uh, combination of uh, settings gpu and uh, cpu a lot of uh, npcs here but we are able to maintain 60 frames per second in this area here 
and uh, which is quite okay seeing that there's quite a lot of uh, NPCs here. I mean quite okay in comparison to previous areas not in comparison to any other game ever using a 1440p ultra and the issue for me here is that it, it'll probably drop down below 60 frames per second it was uh, pretty close but the issue here for me is that I'm very used to a high refresh rate especially on this monitor and now to suddenly go down to 60 frames per second even though this is a variable refresh rate monitor I had to say that pretty carefully the motion fluidity is definitely a lot less at a lower frame rate so you play any other game you get 100 plus frames per second it takes some getting used to going down to 60 frames per second even lower at times all right so let's just uh, try the high preset all right so on high just uh, doing my usual stuff here disabling fsr and dynamic resolution scaling and we didn't gain much around 10 percent or so i did see that the settings do scale quite nicely you get around 10 percent performance bump for each time you lower the settings but it does seem to be a little bit better on high we are definitely not uh, vram limited either i almost died there just from running so we are definitely not vram limited you can see vram usage is sitting at 4.6 gigabytes on a 12 gigabyte gpu I saw at uh, even at 4K when I tested it earlier, it doesn't go much beyond uh, six gigabytes in the areas that I tested. Not sure how they manage it VRAM wise. I was expecting a little bit more performance considering that the VRAM buffer is is definitely not even close to to full. It's not even running at a half. So I'm not entirely sure what's happening there. But the, there are definitely some areas in this game that that do look good do they look 60 frames per second at 1440p good mm, probably not all right so in this area what do you need to do to get a high refresh rate experience let's just uh, go down to the low preset actually let's just show you well first let's do medium oops let's just first do medium and do the rest of the stuff here just to show you the scaling and you can see at medium now we're sitting at almost uh, 90 frames per second in that area we were getting around uh, 70 frames per second here in front of this uh, sculpture here and you can see it's, it's around 10 percent gain every time right some loads might be a little bit less and you'll get a little bit of a higher frame rate but uh, just from my previous testing each setting would gain you around 10 percent maybe slightly more the lower you go to be honest this is probably how i'll play the game or i'll just wait for the dlss uh, 3 frame generation mod and then i'll uh, use that i did see that dlss 2 mods are available i'm just not a big fan of using upscaling when there's no ray tracing involved it's not supposed to be necessary but that's just my opinion anyway all right so that's the medium preset let's just go down to low once again just doing the normal stuff here no fsr and i don't think we gained much by going from medium to low i mean my benchmark run is definitely not <laughs> a very accurate benchmark run from point a to point b just running around in this specific area just to give you an idea of what the performance is like it's getting pretty much the same as in medium I think still getting 110 frames per second so not sure what changed between low and medium but not a lot performance wise but you can see now we are definitely CPU bound in certain areas dropping down to even 82% GPU usage there that's probably why we're not gaining any performance by dropping the settings and that's just a good example of uh, running into a CPU limit all right so that's it for 1440p I'm just going to go down to let's just use respectable settings right i'm going to use the high preset this is just the i'm just disabling that like nobody needs to use that except for consoles right so we'll use uh, fsr let's just do it at 75 percent uh, if we have a look at the ultra preset it sets it to 75 percent right but i'm just going to go down to high and then set this to 75 percent and see what the frame rate is and now we're getting almost 100 frames per second so maybe maybe that's where you should be playing it if you've got this gpu and you want uh close to a high refresh rate experience i did see though that fsr 
does have quite a lot of artifacting when it comes to fast movement. Earlier in that uh, gunfight, moving around a lot with the, the pistol in my hand, the, the pistol tip was definitely not rendered properly in fast movement. So I'm not a big fan of using upscaling at 1440p, especially when there's no ray tracing involved. As I said earlier, I think it's unnecessary. You've got a pretty powerful GPU here it should be able to handle it but apparently not all right so that's it for our 1440p testing i'll be testing 4k next i'm not going to be testing too much at 4k i don't think we'll be getting a very good experience at 4k with this gpu unless we use very aggressive upscaling but uh, let's see what happens all right we're now at 4k and let's just go to the ultra preset yeah this is not going to go well but uh, we have to test right so let's just disable all of that stuff once again I'm back on the first planet here and let's just uh, start our benchmark run here and I mean this is better than I was expecting uh, still terrible but getting 45 frames per second just judging by the 1440p results I was really expecting 30 frames per second here I'm not going to be testing too much here at 4k at these uh, settings i'm going to try and see if we can get 60 frames per second and then we'll just initiate a gunfight and i think that's going to be our uh, video concluded then so let's just uh, get a gun start a gunfight and uh, i'll see you just now all right i just wanted to show you we're on the high preset now i'm just going to disable that i'm going to leave fsr as is 62 percent uh, render resolution scale here yeah. and getting 70 frames per second now it's fine on this monitor because this is only a 4k 60 hertz monitor i just uh, i literally just bought it for for benchmarking at native uh, 4k instead of having to use uh, a dldsr or forcing 4k through the capture card so we are recording at uh, 4k natively um just going to skip through all this and then we'll fight a bit all right so i just reset our uh, benchmark numbers here you can see there's uh, some enemies coming in here we'll fight a little bit this game it, it looks okay at 4k at these settings it uh, performs okay ish uh, once again uh, relatively in uh, relative to itself uh, not to any other game but uh, I guess if you do have a 60 hertz monitor or if you're targeting uh, 60 frames per second you can use these settings and if it's at 4k is definitely not uh, not terrible and I don't think I'm going to be doing too well yeah don't judge my game plan just uh, have a uh, focus your eyes on the top left hand corner there And so far it seems to do okay in the fighting. I mean, this is not a very intense fight at all, but it did manage to stay above 60 frames per second most of the time. I don't know, I wasn't uh, looking at the numbers too much there. So, I mean, 4K 60 frames per second, you have to use the high preset with some FSR. You can obviously try and uh, get use uh, dynamic resolution scanning as well i'm really not a big fan of that i prefer static resolutions i don't want to suddenly see my image quality drop i'd rather just lower the settings if uh, the game does drop below 60 frames per second all right that's going to be it for our video on the 4070 ti in a starfield i do hope that some patches do come out and the performance does increase but i wouldn't place any bets on that right so that's just a hope you met this stage all right so that's going to be it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did hit that like button hit that subscribe button and as always we hope to see you in the next one